I'm Sarah and I'm Dylan and we're Dylan and Sarah photography <laughs> <laughs> so we are primarily wedding photographers uh, we're currently based in Boise but we're relocating to Portland Oregon kind of, I think so what we're doing with this is just a pretty simple headshot of Steve and we're just gonna do just this big softbox right in the center uh, maybe slightly off to the side we, we might add in a side light just for definition um, we want to keep the the uh, the background pretty dark, so we're, so we're gonna pretty much kill all the other light that's in here, all the ambient. So we met, now it's like eight and a half years ago. We were, uh, it was the very last month of my senior year of high school. So we've been together for pretty much our entire adult lives. When we first started dating, like that whole summer, we would, we had disposable cameras and we'd take them like on every little adventure that we went on. So we, we started, we got real cameras. We, we'd had like Rebels and Nikon D60s in the past, but we got real cameras and we started using them and we were addicted like every day, taking a couple hundred photos every night when Sarah would get off work. Mm -hmm. And we would try new things. We'd try different processing, different little tricks. We started buying different lenses and yeah. just getting addicted to the, the gear, the technique. Everything like that was just really fun. And we took photos of everything that like we, yeah. like it was mostly just like us going on our little adventures again. Like, exactly. Um, every once in a while we'd set up like a fashion shoot where we'd get some people together from in town. Someone had noticed that we were doing it, a friend of ours, they asked us to shoot a wedding. We were like, yeah, let's try it out, why not? So um, so before we actually, I mean that was a few months before the wedding, so before we actually shot a wedding, we researched it so much. We practiced everything, like we, we took so much time to like figure out exactly what to do so that we weren't going to be, we didn't, we didn't want to mess up someone's wedding. Yeah, but, um, like all I could think about was like, <laughs> how, like what I needed to learn to get through that day. Mm -hmm. and. It was, it was kind of cool to almost feel like you were in school for photography and yeah. <laughs> even though we weren't, but just uh, so much training and learning and then to finally do it and get through that first wedding and uh, see what it really was like and yeah. we did pretty well, I think, for our first wedding. So fitness, which is what we are shooting today. Um, it's not something that we shoot all the time. It's kind of something that we do on the side when we're asked to. There's a company based in Boise that 
um, is a bodybuilding fitness company, so we do some shooting for them. Uh, we enjoy it because it's something different. Like we obviously we'd never do something like this at a wedding just because it's all the lighting and all that. But it's nice to be able to have those um, different skills so that if you do need to use them sometime you can. Um, but we got into it. A friend again is like one of those things. I have a friend who is very in the fitness world, and she had asked to do some photos, and we did them. And then after we did those. Um, Steve Cook happened to be a friend of hers and he was actually one of the first uh, fitness people that we shot like three years ago. Yep. Something like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, I don't know if the ball can be in the future somehow. Yeah. Straight towards the table. Straight towards the table. I gotta help my facial expression. I'm not a painter, I'm not a writer, God, I tried, I wanted to be like an artist of some sort so badly in college, like, I tried to write, and I wanted to be a copywriter, but I'm just awful at it, and <laughs> tried to paint and draw, but just to no avail, and so photography kind of just fit, like, I can see the composition, I can see things that I like, and I know, like, I could see paintings in my head that I would want to paint, but I couldn't do it. So, I mean, photography seems like a good step for that. For sure. Good. How about for you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> kind of see there on the back especially like right as he starts to clap and oh, it's yeah. just kind of explodes in his hands oh, yeah. but in order to be able to see like the I'd say when I first started photography the technical part was super interesting to me and then it's progressed to where I kind of don't think about it anymore I, I mean I still I see a lens that I really want or a mm -hmm. camera body comes out and I'm like dang that's pretty rad but it, it doesn't like that's not what I think about as much um, where that was all I thought about at first. And now it's more about like, I want to go hang out with awesome people in a really cool spot and then document that. Or I want to uh, create some beauty out of a situation that most people might not see. And that's really fun.
being a couple and working together, um, we're able to kind of master different things and teach each other different things. Um, it's, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. And even if it was just like business partners, I think it's it's so beneficial to have two people mm -hmm. in the company to bounce ideas off each other. And, uh, yeah. We put in a lot of effort and we work really, really hard every single day. So I think, I mean, I think a lot of it is just like doing it and trying really hard. I, I mean, even if weddings don't really fit our style that we have, like we still try, we try our asses off, like because it's still a wedding, it's still super important. And even if it's not perfectly Pinterest, like, who cares, you know? Like, they hired you, do the best you fucking can. I mean, we, we do a lot of exploring on our own, trying to find epic spots to go take portraits, and sometimes that's a couple hours away from our house and where the clients live, but we feel like it's worth it. Or we'll, we'll if we're in Portland, we'll, we'll go to the coast and we'll go a couple hours away, we'll go to Mount Hood, and it might be January and snowing, and our cameras will freeze and lock up, but it's still worth it, we'll get some good stuff. And so we to live a boring life that's the biggest thing we've kind of learned like yeah. why do that why why waste time like get rid of your desk job if you have a chance and just go do something you really like and love and have fun with mm -hmm. and allows you to do awesome stuff which is yeah. pretty much everybody should be a photographer <laughs> yes <stuff>. everybody <laughs>
to work with Steve, obviously, because he's such a character. Very, very <laughs> he's very always so. happy, which I love too. Exactly. Even uh, if he, yeah, yeah. If, even if he's watching us all eat pizza, he's still like in a good mood. <laughs> but no, he, honestly, behind the camera, the guy knows what he's doing. We don't have to give him like a whole lot of direction because he, he's so, like, he's so talented. Yeah. So. I just I act goofy and then when they tell me that's enough then uh, I try to get serious. Yeah. But I've shot with a lot of these guys were actually one of the first people I ever shot with in my fitness career. They're actually the second people I've ever shot with, and they're still some of the most talked about photos that I get people asking me. You know, I love the photo shoot where you're in the beanie and it's black and white, and you know it, it's amazing because I like shooting with people. She has such a different eye sometimes than a than a male photographer that it is specifically fitness. Like she ca she captures nature so well, and and both of them are just they play off each other so well that it's it's just it's such a nice angle to come from, and that's true. <laughs> You're so nice. <laughs> it's a great day. Got a lot of good stuff. Can't wait yeah, to go. we did a lot of different things today. So we we shot in the studio or in the gym today, and we brought some studio equipment. And that was really fun, a lot of fitness stuff. Um, and we ended the day here with a sunset. It was beautiful and and everyone kind of felt in their element. I did anyway. <laughs> so, sure it's cool. Yeah. Thanks guys. I'm Dylan. And I'm Sarah. And we've just been framed. Come on.